Welcome to this video uh, about uh, similar figures and the volume of cones. But before I start, I just very quickly uh, want to say one of you have asked me to help with this particular question on my website explainingmaths.com. And you can do the same, yeah. You can go to my website, you'll find all the maths topics explained there for you, but you can also ask me questions you have. Okay, now what's going on? Um, an inverted cone of height 15 centimeters and a diameter of 4 centimeters is filled with water. Okay. Now always, of course, make a sketch of that, okay? So we have a cone, yeah, and it's inverted there, so it looks like this. And they say the height is 15 centimeters and the diameter is four, but I don't like diameters, I like radii. So I'm gonna put there two for radius, yeah, because that's half a diameter, two centimeters, good. It's filled with water until the distance between the water surface and the bottom of the cone is seven centimeters. So let's do that in blue. Yeah, so I'm gonna put some water in it and uh, roughly like this. So there's water inside. The distance between the bottom and the water surface there is seven centimeters. The question then is find the volume of the water in the cone. Okay, so we have some important information. I already put it in my sketch, but I'm going to highlight it anyway. 15, 4, and 7. Yeah, and what is the volume of the water? inside the cone. Now, there are two ways of doing this. Uh, I'll show you one now and I'll make another video and I'll show you the different uh, method. First of all, you got to realize uh, this is about similarity. Okay, we have a big cone and a similar smaller cone. And let's find out the volume of the bigger cone. Yeah, volume of cones, that's usually a, a formula that's given to you. But it's always the volume of a cylinder, pi r squared times the height, but then divided by three because um, the cone will fit in three times if you uh, um, if you look at the cylinder around it with the same base. Anyway, different story. That's a formula they give to you. And the radius, I'm looking at the bigger cone, is 2. So it's pi times 2 squared. The height is 15 divided by 3. And that um, is 20 pi. Is that right? 4 times 5, that's 20 pi. Um, which, um, yeah, let's leave it in terms of pi there. Okay, now if I look at, so that's the volume of the bigger one. The smaller one is, uh, of the water, is smaller, of course, and it's a particular scale factor. The scale factor is 7 over 15, yeah, because I look for two corresponding sides, yeah, 7 over 15. Um, so 7 over 15, but I don't just times that by that volume because we're talking about volume, so I have to do the scale factor cube. And I explain that in other videos, yeah, when I talk more about similarity. When you look at area and similarity, you have to do the scale factor squared. Yeah, but volume and similarity, it's a scale factor cubed. So the scale factor cubed times the volume of the bigger one, yeah, should give me a volume smaller than 20 pi. And if I put it in my calculator, uh, I'm getting an answer of. 6.385577957, I believe, and to three significant figures, that will be 6.39. Uh, everything is in centimeters, so centimeters cubed. Okay, so that's my final answer. So it's about similarity. I first found the volume of the big cone, and I multiply that by the scale factor to the power of three, yeah, to get the volume of the smaller cone. All right, now go to the next video. I'll use a different method, which is equally as good to solve the same problem. Yeah, you can also go to my site, explainingmaths.com. You'll find all my resources nicely organized over there. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.